Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I thought I'd do an update on my Awari Satsuma tree. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it um, has grown quite well this year. Um, I did cut it back, I think it was possibly around March, February, March. Uh, I think around here you can see all this new growth uh, that it's put out this year. Um, I think most of this is new growth here as well. Um, now I did leave this in the greenhouse a little bit later than some of my other uh, citrus um, because I was hoping that I'd be able to get some full size edible fruit this year. Uh, last year the fruits didn't get very big and um, they failed to ripen um, until yeah kind of well into winter and they were just you know this kind of size not very big um, they ended up being really dry inside I left them too long. Um, now unfortunately leaving it in the greenhouse was a bit of a problem um, what happened is the first flowers that opened in April ended up going mouldy and dropping off uh, now I thought no fruit actually set on it uh, until I moved it outside um, but I think this one here which initially I thought might have been a fruit from last year holding on might have been actually one that did set in the greenhouse but as you can see it's really small nowhere near full size but it is starting to change colour to a bit of green on it um, but yeah in the last couple of days this has started to go uh, very orange um, so that fruit will probably be ready to pick um, very soon even though it's not a very large fruit I think it's going to be as ripe as it's going to get um, so I will pick that and do a tasting of it when it's ready as you can see it is still flowering it's been flowering all year since spring I don't know why um, and you can see there's a couple of small fruits that are set on it as well um, there's another one here as well and then there's lots of little tiny uh, baby ones here as well which may or may not hold um, but yeah, they're just a couple of um, small fruits and for whatever reason they're just not growing. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's the pot it's in, the, the soil it's in, which is the original soil from the citrus centre. I've not repotted it. It's probably not an ideal mix for growing in a container outside. It might do better uh, in a a well ventilated greenhouse but it doesn't seem to work very well in my greenhouse which gets very uh, very humid but other than that the tree itself is mostly quite healthy um, does probably need another feed um, before I put it away for winter so I will give it one last feed there's also a little bit of scale here and there um, which I've been trying to rub off uh, it's not too bad though, there's only a few here and there. Um, but yeah, I do keep giving this a, a check over uh, at least once a week. Just try and pull them off. I'll probably give it a spray before I put it in the greenhouse. In fact, I'll have to do that with every single um, citrus. I'll go through and check every leaf and branch, or at least as much as I can. Um, but it's going to be a very difficult task because of how many I've got and how yeah it's just going to be a very time consuming process so I'll try my best to remove as much as I can from each of them as possible then I'll give them a good spray but I'm hoping we don't have to worry about moving them in the greenhouse for at least another few weeks um, temperatures are reasonable at the moment still getting double digits at night um, most nights are even if we're just dipping slightly below that maybe eight or nine degrees at the lowest uh, which is pretty good for uh, for November early November um, some nights we're not even going below 10 degrees so I really hope I can get to the bottom of why my uh, satsumas don't get very large it, it might just be the maturity of this plant it might need another year or so before it can hold full-size fruits uh, it could be feeding I'm getting wrong could be the soil but yeah I will probably inspect the roots on this in spring just see 
uh, what they look like maybe maybe give it a repot if it needs it or change the soil but I don't tend to change the soil on my plants unless they're showing signs of or obvious signs of decline which this one isn't so yeah I'll probably leave it for now uh, but yeah just thought I'd do an update on, on this one here I do also have an unnamed uh, satsuma tree uh, which I'll probably do a separate update on at some point although it hasn't flowered this year um, and I've also got a couple of awaris that I grafted from this tree in the greenhouse which are doing quite well so I could probably do another update on some of my uh, grafted plants at some point um, before winter so yeah I hope you enjoyed this update on the awari and as I said uh, I will do a tasting on this fruit um, once it looks like it's completely ripe um, I've gone fully fully orange so that'll probably be another week or two so yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell, which will alert you as soon as new videos are ready to be watched. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.